everybody, Elaine Watson here with a pro tutorial on the ASP Quick Dip Starter Kit. You can find it at your local Sally Supply Store or you can order it online at sallybeauty.com. Now let's get started. Before getting started, I always score the edges of my brand new nail files to prevent getting any paper cuts. Don't just wash your hands with soap and water, scrub them for surgery. This is the first step of helping that product adhere to your nails. The next very important step is making sure that you push back all the surrounding skin, loosen it from the nail plate, and scrape any residual cuticle off that nail plate. This will also help your product stick to your nails. Use a smooth 220 grit file to remove the shine from your nail plate. Do this very gently. You don't want to damage that nail. This is also an important step in getting that product to stay stuck to your nails. This is the time to shape your nails. Use the scrub brush to remove every last bit of dust. If you're a pro and you're working on someone else, put some powder in this tray and dip their nails in the tray, then throw out the contaminated powder. Today, I'm working on myself so I can dip right out of my own personal powder jar. Step one, primer. You only apply this to the natural nail. If you've applied a nail tip, you don't need to apply it to the plastic. Only the natural nail. Step two is the nail base and gel top. You wanna to make sure that you apply a really even coat of this. If you put too much, it'll squish when you dip. If you put too little, you'll have some naked spots. Make sure that you do this quick and get in that powder, otherwise the adhesive will dry. Don't touch the bottom of the jar when you dip. When you come out, use the brush to remove any loose powder. This prevents it from getting back in the adhesive when you apply your second coat. Now we're applying our second coat and we're gonna make sure that we saturate all that powder and get an even coat. Again, not too much, not too little. Dip back into the powder, don't touch the bottom. Come back out, tap off any loose powder, and use that brush to make sure that you remove all the excess powder. Third and final coat. How many coats you do depends on your lifestyle. I tend to be a little bit rough on my nails, not gonna lie. So I like to do a third coat. Look at that gorgeous nail. We need to encapsulate that last dip of powder, so apply one final coat of the number two adhesive. What you can't see off camera is as I put away my number two adhesive and grab my number three gel activator, I'm careful not to touch that nail because the glue is still wet. Give extra care when applying your gel activator so that you get it on the nail only and don't flood the skin. You're probably wondering what that brush cleaner is for. So keep the gel activator brush free of glue. Unscrew your brush out of the brush cleaner, wipe off the excess, and stick it in your gel activator. 
put your activator brush in the brush cleaner. Now you'll have a clean brush next time you go to do your application. Before I finish file, I always put away all my open products so that I don't contaminate anything. Check to make sure that nail is dry before we start filing. You're probably wondering what the wood stick was for and I didn't actually use it. It's to clean up any product around the skin when you're applying your adhesive and your powder. If you get a good application, you don't need it. Use the ASP 180 grit file to do all your finished filing to this nail. Pro tip. We always file our parameters first, free edge, sidewalls. Then the next area we file is all along the surrounding skin and we work our way down to the sides. Notice that I only file in one direction. Filing back and forth is a good way to ruin a nail. If you file in one direction, you can see in between strokes if you're filing too far or if you need to file more. This is how I file my arch location and my surface smoothness. I do go back and forth for this and I can see what I'm doing while I'm doing it. To be honest, I could be done by now, but I am a perfectionist and I figure you guys would wanna see what I'm really doing. Remove all the dust. If you're gonna use a gel top coat, you would go to that step next. But for this tutorial, I'm using an air dry top coat. So I'm using a very fine buffer block to remove any of those scratches from the 180 grit file. If you're doing all 10 nails, I highly recommend you go to the bathroom and wash your hands to remove the dust. I'm just doing one nail here, so I'm showing you how to use a scrub brush. For a shiny surface, I'm using ASP Longwear Top Coat, and I'm going to show you how pros polish a nail. For the first stroke, we push up towards the skin and fan the brush. Pull down, then left, then right. Three strokes and cap your edges. That's how the pros do it. Last step is to apply cuticle oil, but since I'm using a pen, I don't have to wait for the nail to dry. Oh my gosh, how easy peasy was it to do this nail? And look at it, it is so gorgeous. My other nails are a pro gel with a gel polish top. I think that the dip nail actually looks better. Here's the shopping list I promised you. You need the quick dip starter kit, a brush, 180 grit file, 220 grit file, smooth lock, scrub brush, cuticle oil pen, wood stick, and a cuticle pusher. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Send me some pictures of the nails you've done. Till next time, I'll see you take care.